Hi there, welcome to day 10, chapter 10 of my mortal quarantine reading. I hope y'all are doing well. I am, uh, I'm feeling it a bit today. Feeling the being trapped in my apartment alone with no pets or no plants. <laughs> feeling it just a bit. It's just me and this fan fiction now. That's all I've got. It's just me and this fucking fan fiction. That's my life now. Quickly, before we get started, it occurs to me that perhaps... I should give a small content warning on some of these. I know this chapter definitely contains some homophobic language right up front. And as per usual, we get some very silly mentions and depictions of self-harm and suicide. So, you know, we're all just out here trying to have a good time. Just don't want anybody thrown by this. And here we go. Let's, let's get going. Where is it? It's, it's on here somewhere. Here we go. <clears throat> My Immortal, Chapter 10 Author's Note Stop it, you gay fags! If you do not like my story, then fuck off! P.S. It turns out Bloody Mary isn't a muggle after all, and she and Vampire are evil. That's why they moved houses, okay? I was really scared about Vlodomor all day. I was even... I was even upset, went to rehearsals with my gothic metal band, Bloody Gothic Rose 666. I'm the lead singer of it, and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between GC, Slipknot, and MCR. The other people in the band are Bloody Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron, although we call him Diabolo now. He has black hair now with blue streaks in it. And Hargrid. Only today, Draco and Vampire were, were depressed, so they weren't coming, and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably slitting his wrists. He wouldn't die because he was a vampire too, and the only way you can kill a vampire is with a C-R-O-S-S. -S. There's no way I'm writing that. Or a stake. And Vampire was probably watching a depressing movie, like The Corpse Bride. I put on a black leather shirt that showed off my boobs and tiny matching mini skirt that said simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. We were singing a cover of Helena and at the end of the song, I suddenly bust into tears. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asked in a concerted voice. What the fuck do you think? I asked angrily. And then I said, well, Voldemort came and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But I don't want to kill him because he's really nice even if he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will fucking kill Draco. I burst, I burst into tears. Suddenly, Draco, Draco jumped out from behind a wall. Why didn't you fucking tell me? He shouted. How could you, you... You fucking poser muggle bitch! See, is that out of character? I started to cry and cry. Draco started to cry too, all sensitive. Then he ran out crying. We practiced for one more hour. Then suddenly, Dumbledore walked in angrily. His eyes were all fiery, and I knew this time it wasn't because he had a headache. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. See, that's basically not swearing, and this time he was really upset, and we'll see why. Ebony, Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists. All right, there we go. That was chapter 10 of My Immortal. I do believe I have got another guest on tomorrow, so please stay tuned for that. And yeah tune in for that i guess don't stay tuned there's gonna be nothing after this um and yeah so bye and remember don't let being good hold you back make bad art <laughs>